Hello, in today's training session, we'll be discussing how to complete a basic work order from the perspective of a technician using the Fieldwork Office app. The Fieldwork Office app icon is a green square, white circle with a green letter F. So once you log in to the Fieldwork Office app, you'll be taken to the calendar view. In this particular case, we're looking at Tuesday the 23rd. We have one work order on our schedule. It is scheduled for 11 a.m. We can see the service address. Green circle with a check in the center indicates that, uh, that Mr. Thornton has confirmed this stop. We can also see it is a bi-monthly residential pest protection. At the bottom of the screen, you can see list and map. If you click on the map, you will be able to see pin drop on the map of where this location is. And this is just a pinch. I can pinch to zoom in or zoom out. You can click on this uh, one, this number one here, which is the one, the first work order we have on our schedule to enter that work order. Um, or you can return to list view and from here we're just going to click on the work order itself. So we're now inside the work order. We're viewing this work order 7762. We have several options here. Start now. We can reschedule or we can click the directions button and the app will access the mapping software on the device we're using and provide directions on how to get to the location. You can add a photo by clicking the plus sign. The app will request access to either your photo library or camera. This is useful tool for taking a picture of the front of the house uh, to ensure you're treating the right location, maybe the big red mailbox out by the road or some other navigational aid. We can also see this is a bi-monthly residential pest protection service. It does have a fee of $105 with a total of $113.66. We can see service instructions and also a location note. In this particular case, Big Red Dog is friendly. This might also contain things such as gate codes, driving instructions, perhaps locations to the keys. So to begin, we're going to click the Start Now. We'll be taken to the work order itself. We can see our customer information, our location information, contact telephone numbers, emails. We can see the work order history or directions again. If you have the rights as a technician, if you've been granted the rights, you can click view the, the customer information. Same thing with the location. Click on the location and you can see the location information. So to begin with, we're going to click start now and enter a start time. And the first field that we have an option to here is invoice. So we can click the invoice and we can see again our work order details and you can see there is an option here to pay now if you click the pay now you'll be taken into the payment screen at the bottom we can add a new card click that and it'll bring up the credit card option you can see here that you can scan the card or if the customer has a credit card on file we're going to click this payment method and then we'll scroll through to the bottom. Generally, if they, ha if they have a credit card on file, generally it will be at the bottom and it will be displayed as star and then the last four digits of their credit card on file. In today's training session, I'm just going to pick check as the payment method. We can click the reference field and add the check number and select done and then we'll select pay and now we can see that this is a paid invoice as i continue down we can see notes here are the instructions for the service that we are going to be performing you can add tech notes here you can either type or use the mic made contact with customer he does not want service interior period 
treated exterior of the house. Just click the microphone to shut it off. If you do use the microphone, you'll want to review the contents there to make sure that it was, uh, it interpreted your words correctly. Once we have entered our notes, we will click the save button in the upper right hand corner. And next option is our private notes. Clicking in the center of that field, here too we can type or use the microphone to enter data. Private notes are only within the company. Uh, they are not shared with the customer. A customer cannot see those. Uh, once you have completed entering your private notes to save your work, just click save in the upper right hand corner. Next is forms. Forms can be attached to a work order for various things, maybe an inspection form, um, or, um, sanitation form, termite form. There's a variety of different types of forms. In this particular case, I've entered just a basic inspection form. If you click on this form, the, it will take you to the form. These are all editable fields. I can pinch and zoom, and then from here you can just enter the checks, or you can enter words uh, into the text fields. Once you're completed, in the upper left-hand corner, there is an X. Sometimes it's a little hard to see, but if you click the X, it will save the data that you've entered on the form. Next in line is environment. If you click the environment, there is fetch weather. That is a link. If you click fetch weather, it will fetch the weather uh, and then put that into the work order. On the bottom here uh, is square footage. Perhaps this service is an LNO. And again, I'm just going to touch in that field. And then you could enter total square footage of the treatment area. Next is recommendations. We can click the add button. And this is a static list that is on your, your account. And you can add a, a recommendation. In this particular case, uh, I'm going to recommend that they clear all conducive material away from the structure. We click on that, a check mark appears, and then we'll just hit the apply in the upper right hand corner. Um, and then that can, recommendation has been applied. Conditions, the same way. I'm going to click Add, and we have a list of options. And again, this too is set up. This is a static list, and it's set up in the background on your, on your account. And in this example, we'll just say conducive material stored too close to the house. And again, hit the green Apply button in the upper right-hand corner, and it will save that. Next comes our material usage. So we can click the add button. We will be presented with a list of chemical options based on what your company's setup is. In this particular case, I'm going to scroll through the list and pick suspend SC. To do that, I'm just going to click on that field and it will take me back to the material usage screen here. So depending on how your system is set up in, in my computer or my, my company I have set up, I already have my dilution rate selected as a default to 0.006 if it cases. If it's different, you can click the dilution rate and you'll bring up another static list of the dilution rates that your company has set up. Uh, and then just click whatever option you want and it will be it'll be filled in. I'm going to stick with that 0.06. For our quantity, I'm going to click into the quantity and then enter the amount of material that we used. If you need to change the unit of measurement, we can just click on that field and then here's a list of the uh, measurements that are available. Uh, device, we'll click, click on the device and then I'm going to choose power sprayer and the method of treatment was broadcast 
Next in line is our target pest. We can click on add target pest and a list of pet pests will be presented. In this particular case, I'm just going to click on ants and then click the apply in the upper right hand corner and you can see it added the target pest and you can add additional uh, target pests if you want to just go back in there you could actually apply multiples at one time I hope that suspend is labeled for crickets then you can add your treatment locations I'm going to click on that and open up the different locations that are available in this particular case. I am just going to choose exterior perimeter and then again in the upper right hand corner hit apply. And once we have entered all of our material usage, we're going to click the save in the upper right hand corner. And now that material is added. If you need to add an additional chemicals, just at, click the add button and continue adding the products that you need to add. Next in line is photos and I'm going to click the add button and you can see that it's asking it's requesting permission to access the photo library or the camera. So you, you can add up to 12 photos to a work order. Next you have devices. Devices are exterior rodent bait stations, tin cats, fly lights, meal moth traps, any type of device such as those. In this training session, we're not going to go into devices. Next are units such as an apartment complex. And again, in this training session, we will not be covering units. Next is diagrams, which might be like a floor plan of a factory where you have various devices that are located. On that diagram, it will show the placement of all of those devices. Another example might be termite, where you have a termite graph attached. Finally, we have the signature box. You can capture your technician's signature as well as the customer. Uh, just click in the field, it'll bring up a signature box. Use your finger, sign, and then save the signature. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top of the page. Now that we've completed the service, the next step is to enter an end time. And we'll just click on that field and either select the time or hit done and it will bring it forward into the field. Next will be the action, uh, the actions button in the very top right hand corner on an Android device. This will be three horizontal dots and if you click on that the, the command would be complete and exit on this device it's going to be complete and save so once we click complete and save it'll take us out to our calendar and then within a few seconds you can see that the status has changed to completed and uh, the bar on the left hand side has changed to green so that's the process for completing a basic work order from the perspective of a technician using the Fieldwork Office app. Thank you.